No AFL team had ever managed to win a premiership from 7th place on the ladder until the 2016 final series came along. This is the story of the most unlikely premiership in AFL history. The Western Bulldogs were seen as clear underdogs going into their elimination final against West Coast at Domain Stadium. The two teams hadn't faced off since round 11 when the Bulldogs won by 8 points at Marvel Stadium. West Coast seemed likely to win this final, especially considering their undefeated record at home for the entire season, except for a 29 point loss to Adelaide in round 12. The game kicked off with Josh Kennedy having a brilliant start, intercepting a poorly executed kick out of defence from the Bulldogs and nailing the set shot from 50 out with a kick that went as straight as an arrow. However, West Coast's strong beginning didn't last long. Liam Pickens contested mark and accurate set shot along with Caleb Daniels impressive 50 metre drop punt were two incredibly important goals for the Bulldogs going into quarter time. The second quarter continued with Caleb Daniel making even more key plays. After setting up Tory Dixon for another goal, Daniel was involved again as his handball to Luke Dowhouse resulted in a high hooking snap for yet another Bulldogs goal. Unfortunately, Lin Jong, the AFL's first Taiwanese player, had his season and finals campaign cut short due to a fractured collarbone from an aggressive Jeremy McGovern tackle. Despite this setback, the Bulldogs went into half time with a solid 24 point lead. The second half started with Clay Smith showcasing his skills, receiving a brilliant underground pass from Tom Boyd and scoring a left foot snap goal from the square. Liam Picken added to this with his second goal in what would be a breakout final series for the 29 year old. Jack Darling closed out the third quarter with a heavily contested mark over Joel Hamling before securing his second goal. The fourth quarter began with Josh Dunkley converting a quick under pressure snap for a goal in just his 14th AFL game. Jake Stringer then created space, took the mark and delivered a remarkable goal from 50 metres out to cap off an incredible 47 point win over one of the top teams in the competition. Even the hostile Perth crowd couldn't stop the Bulldogs. However, the next challenge awaited as the Dogs were about to face undoubtedly the greatest team in the AFL. Hawthorne, fresh off winning three premierships in a row, finished the 2016 season third on the ladder. They faced the Bulldogs in a semi-final after Isaac Smith missed an after the siren shot to beat Geelong in the qualifying final. The Hawks hit the scoreboard first with James Sicily scoring after evading a Lockie Hunter tackle. Toby McLean charged through the centre of the ground delivering a perfect long pass to Liam Picken but James Frawley's defensive skills were too good stopping any potential scoring. A kick out of defence by Taylor Dre led to a Sean Burgoyne inside 50 entry, resulting in an easy goal for Jack Gunston. Eastern Wood's chess mark and captain's goal brought the Bulldogs within 11 points at quarter time. The second quarter saw Brad Hill execute a perfectly placed pass to Cyril Rioli who quickly played on and scored from right in front. Midway through the quarter, Luke Dowhouse stole Jack Fitzpatrick's handball, setting up the Bulldogs for a goal by Josh Dunkley. Liam Picken took a hit to the face by Luke Bruce, but continued in the Bulldogs finals campaign. Clay Smith marked Lockie Hunter's short chip, cutting down the margin to only one point going into half time. Luke Bruce showcased his immense speed, scoring an easy goal after Ryan Schoenmaker's precise kick. However, the Bulldogs responded with Clay Smith assisting Jake Stringer, giving them their first lead since early in the first quarter. Marcus Bontempelli's snap increased the lead to 26 points, followed by Tory Dixon's accurate set shot. Liam Picken added to the Bulldogs' lead after getting out the back, and despite Hawthorne's late fourth quarter surge with four consecutive goals in just 10 minutes, they fell short. 
the Hawks had missed their chance to secure a fourth consecutive premiership, which would have made them only the second team to ever achieve the feat. The Western Bulldogs now face one of the most challenging matches in the club's history, as they needed to beat the GWS Giants at Giants Stadium to lock in their spot in the grand final. The Giants, who had previously beaten top of the ladder Sydney, would be nearly impossible to beat, but this game would go down to the wire, keeping all AFL fans on the edge of their seats. In the opening quarter, Clay Smith received a pass from Zane Cordy on the run and scored the first goal of the match. Tory Dixon's skillful moves in the goal square added a second, and Eastern Woods' fantastic Specky had Dogs fans cheering. However, the Giants started to make a comeback in the second quarter, starting with multiple efforts from Toby Green, including a crucial smother and a goal. Although the Bulldogs regained the lead, Toby Green once again stole it back with a mark and goal. With the Bulldogs leading by just three points, Shane Mumford's tap set up Clay Smith for his fourth goal before half-time. An incredible feat. The Giants came out strong after the half-time break, with Rory Lobb taking advantage of terrible Bulldogs defence for an easy goal. Toby Green's inside 50 entry led to Rory Lobb finishing the job, while Heath Shaw's long-range goal excited the 20,000 Giants fans. Marcus Bontempelli and Zane Cordy, however, combined for an extremely important goal, keeping Dogs fans hopeful. The back and forth continued in the fourth quarter, with Tory Dixon's falling back mark and goal making scores closer. With 10 minutes left, the Giants held a slim 5-point lead. Jason Johannesson's burst through the middle, followed by Bontempelli's goal, put the Bulldogs ahead by one point. In a tense fourth quarter finish, Zane Cordy's quick snap extended the Bulldogs' lead. Jonathan Patton's goal for the Giants narrowed the margin to one point, setting the stage for a nail-biting ending. With three minutes remaining, Liberatore cleverly spotted Jack McRae all the way out the back. McRae's goal gave the Bulldogs a crucial one-point lead. On the wing with 30 seconds left, Jake Stringer was ready to have a shot at goal, but intelligently found Tory Dixon. Dixon secured the win by wasting 30 seconds and scoring a point, putting the Bulldogs through to their first grand final appearance in 55 long years. The big day finally arrived on October 1st, 2016. The Bulldogs were heading into the 2016 grand final as major underdogs, facing off against the top-ranked Sydney team that had recently smashed Geelong by 37 points at the MCG. A win in this game meant breaking a 62-year premiership drought and clinching the Bulldogs their second-ever premiership. The Swans struck first with a goal from Luke Parker, thanks to a well-placed kick from Kieran Jack. However, at the start of the game, Buddy Franklin injured his ankle, limiting his impact for the rest of the match. This was so important, as Franklin had four grand finals worth of experience under his belt, but only managed to score one goal on the day. The match continued with many important opening plays, starting with Zane Cordy standing tall against Callum Mills, resulting in a holding the ball call and a successful kick from Cordy. Tory Dixon's set shot and Marcus Bontempelli's slick moves, which led to a Tom Boyd goal, added to the Bulldogs' lead. Sydney fought back, with Nick Smith scoring an unexpected goal, his only one for the year. Liam Picken showcased his skills with a clever 1-2 with Stringer, leading to a quick snap and goal. Sydney briefly regained the lead, but the Bulldogs responded with an over-the-head snap from Toby McLean. The third quarter started great for the Bulldogs, with Dixon's impressive snap putting them ahead. Despite a late bump from McLean giving away a 50 and allowing Josh Kennedy to score, the Bulldogs maintained an 8-point lead going into the final quarter. Hanabry's serious knee injury was a major setback, but Franklin's goal soon after brought Sydney closer. Moments later, Picken followed this up by crumbing the ground ball and slamming it through for a second. 
Then, a game-changing moment unfolded when Dale Morris tackled Franklin, earning himself an important holding the ball call. Tom Boyd, unaware of the whistle, took a daring shot at goal from 60 metres out, kicking one of the greatest goals in grand final history. Shortly after, Liam Picken capitalised on a missed spoil by Jake Lloyd and booted through his third. Picken, his 17 teammates on the ground and 60,000 Bulldogs fans all knew it. When Toby McLean missed his set shot on the siren, nobody cared. After 62 years of trying their hardest and just falling short, they had achieved the seemingly impossible. They were premiers at last.